tail docking in docks or tail amputation. Now, there are three ways of doing it. One way is just cut, cut uh, vertically. This is what the breeders do, and you can see the bone there. After that, this is no good for the for the dog. Now, for the big dog, the over over one week old, there should be you should draw a marker, marker uh, line to cut a V shape. So. After you cut this way, as shown in the illustration, then uh, then the top part will come downwards to stitch onto the lower part, so that you have this stitch up and then covers the bone, so there is no bone, no bone showing, unlike the straight straight cut by the breeders or the ones using the rubber band. Those are. Uh, Homeowners, they use rubber band. The tail will come to like this after it has uh, gang turned gangrenous. Now for for a three day old or two day old puppy, I'll show this drawing. The scissor is is uh, angled at forty five degrees. Forty five degrees. See from the top. Then we turn turn to push the skin backwards towards the anus and then cut. After cutting, then uh, you can see that uh, the skin which has been pushed towards the anus comes back forward and then you stitch up as in, in the other case. Stitch below and that covers the bone as well. This for 3 days old. Uh, puppies 2 to 3 days old. And uh, so basically, there are three ways for uh, three, three ways of tail amputation. This is side view, one way, straight cut, and you can see the bone, which is no good because uh, it looks terrible when it's grown up. Now the other way is you use a marker pen and draw a V shape from the side. You can see the V, the upper part. It's a longer, it's longer, and the lower part went by shorter, so that when you you use a scalpel and cut, and then the top part, which is longer, will close down to the lower part, the ventral part, and then you have a nice stitch covering the tail. Now the third one is you just use a forceps or scissors to to uh, turn the top part of the skin towards the, t the anus so they have extra skin here and then when you cut this skin this extra skin will go forward uh, backwards and you can stitch down below this is what I'm going to do now for this uh, demonstration this, uh, this uh, puppy so the assistant holds the puppy look facing facing uh, facing left then uh, now I'm not cutting I'm just showing so the scissor will be, will be uh, you hold the tail first, just, just for demonstration. Just hold this, this hand, hold the tail. No, just hold, I'm not cutting, just hold, this hand hold the, just, I'm not cutting yet, I'm not, I just show, I just show. Then the scissors is angled here, and from the top, then you turn the skin forward, forward towards the, forward towards the, so you do this way 45 degrees, 45 degrees, push the skin forward and then you cut. So when you cut, the skin on top will go backwards and then you have you have the the extra skin to cover the bone and, and then the potassium permanganate will be because it's today so you don't need to stitch up. Potassium permanganate will will uh, stop the bleeding. So this is the way the assistant hold 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 the tail straight and then first position the scissors at that first. Okay, 45 degrees. Turn the skin up and then cut. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate now. Ready? Are you hold? Okay, ready here. First, 45 degrees. Okay. 
turn the skin the stitch and then position the magnet to stop the bleeding yeah stop the bleeding take some blood there stop the bleeding and then this way uh, more just stop the bleeding first yeah. and this way the upper upper part is longer than the lower part so it will cover the bone when it heals here. Yeah. Okay, don't put it down. Then we will do the second one. The same thing again. Mm. Can we after we check again? So the second one, as a good assistant have to hold the straight and then put the tail up. And that's it now. Okay. Hold straight. So scissors, 45 degrees. 45 degrees. You can see on top, 45 degrees. We have a focus here. Well. Don't move, huh? Focus. You put your hand, you put your hand here, uh, focus, huh? Okay, so 45 degrees first. So I will do this way. 45 degrees. Put your skin for it and cut. Okay, then the system will just put the potato for manganate. To stop the bleeding, yeah. Put cauterize the wound, yeah. Must press on it, press on it, yeah. Put the potato magnet direct onto the blood vessel. Yeah. Press onto it, yeah. the, the two blood vessels. Cotton, cotton bud rock onto it, yeah. Not just touching, just rock onto it, uh, pressure. Okay, next one. Third one. Now the same again. He rests his hand on the side so that he's steady, yeah. So, it should be vertical, not the, the tail should be, uh, okay. So the same thing again. So I will put 45 degrees. Turn and cut now. Yeah. The person put magnet. Press onto it, yeah. Press on the rock onto it, like painting like that. Yeah. Like painting. Ready ready put onto the black vessel. Not not just touching, just put onto it, yeah. Like scaling, like that, just scaling. Yeah. Okay, the last one. Then he rests his hand on the on the he rests his hand steady. Okay. Now okay, so ready. And actually 45 degrees again. On this on top of the of the that's cut, yeah. The reason I do tail docking is that the owner doesn't do it with rubber bands and uh, and uh, in an unhygienic way because uh, if you don't do tail docking then the owner is forced to sit uh, breeders or do it themselves using using uh, rubber bands to strangle it to the blood supply so now we check one more time and see any tail is bleeding or not so you check check again and uh, normally, normally there should be no bleeding, but uh, we just check and see. Uh, let's check number one. Check here and see. There's a bit of bleeding. Then just clean up. No, that part is only the we have to clean up later. Is the tail not bleeding. Second one. Let's check second time. Come here and check. Okay, no bleeding. There's a bit on the back side. Wait, let me see. No bleeding. Put the light there. Okay. Okay, no bleeding. Number three. Check again before I give the owner chance good, no bleeding. Number four. No bleeding. So only one one has a bit of blood, so we just clean out the blood. Just now there was one. Where is the one just now? Not this one. No, there was just clean out the blood from the 
No, 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 no. I mean the uh, the block from the not this one. I yeah. think I don't think this one. No. It was one of the white ones, one of the fun ones. So as you can see, the surgery is uh, just use tissue or what, wet, wet, uh, clean up the blood. So overall, there's no bleeding. Potassium permanganate powder cauterize the wound, and uh, we make sure it's clean. Otherwise, the mother will lick it. Uh. So that's it. Uh. You can see there's no bleeding on the tower. You see there's no ble bleeding. Mm. And uh, uh, so, so they can go back and then uh, separate from the mother for uh, one hour. And then uh, just clean up. We will give the owner a bit of powder. Mm. Let's check carefully. Uh, clean the backside. Okay, we we'll we'll wet now. Uh, just clean up. But don't uh, don't touch the protection for magnet. This cauterizes the bleed bleeding. Okay, so we put all together, this four. No. So you can see there's no blood on the towers. So there's no bleeding and it should be okay. These are two days old poodles. Born two days ago. Okay.